So in this question, we have y equals to x, y equals to the third root of x, and these are all located in the first quadrant, and you want to rotate this about the x-axis. What is the volume? How do we calculate the volume? Let's visualize this as usual. Here you have the third root of x, y equals to x. So this is y equals to x. And then you have the third root of x, which behaves like this. They're intersecting, but it has the negative part as well. So if you plug in negative values, the negative part also loc located here. And But it says it's in the first quadrant, so we don't want to continue this to the other side, right? Okay. So when you rotate this object around the x-axis, this is what you have. But how do we calculate the volume? Suppose we want to apply the washer method. In applying the washer method, the volume is equal to the definite integral of a of x dx. And what is a of x here? a of x is basically, if you look at the cross section here, the cross section is this washer here, right? To find the cross section and the washer and the area of this washer, you can say that, hey, I have the larger volume minus the smaller volume, or basically the definite integral of pi, but the larger radius is located on y equals to the third root of x. So you're going to take the third root of x and raise it to the second power minus pi and the inner radius is on x. So x to the second power and then dx. What's the lower bound? What is the upper bound here? Well, if you look at the intersection between these two, the intersection, which is this point here, y equals to the third root of x and the y equals to x. If you set this equal to each other, the third root of x is equal to x, or if you raise both sides to the third power, x becomes x cubed. x cubed minus x is equal to zero. So if you factor out x, you get x squared minus one equal to zero. So they have one intersection at zero, another intersection at one, another intersection at negative one. But since you are in the first quadrant, here, you just select x equals to 1, and of course, starting value is 0. So your definite integral from 0 to 1. The rest is just calculation. The volume is the integral of pi. So this guy is x to power 2 thirds minus, you can factor out pi, minus x squared dx. Remember that we're going to use the integral of u to the n du, which is u to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. And it is between 0 and 1. So the volume is equal to pi. And here you have x to power 2 thirds plus 1 divided by 
2 thirds plus 1 minus x cubed divided by 3 as x ranges between 0 and 1. So the volume is equal to pi. So if you take common denominator, you get 5 over 3 or 3 fifth of x to power 5 over 3 minus x cubed divided by 3. But we don't need 0 anymore. We just need to plug in 1. So the volume is pi 3 fifth minus a third, which is uh, 9 minus 5, 4 pi divided by 15. So this is basically the washer method. All right. And this is your x and x bounded between 0 and 1. What if you decide to use the shell method? All right. This is another question that we're having. What's the setup using shell? Let us go to the next page and talk about shell method. So again, basically you have y equals to x. I'm going to write this down again, the third root of x. Then you have, let's see, in the first quadrant, rotate about x-axis. Now we're going to use the method of shell. So let us remind ourselves of the graph, of the visualization that we have. This is just our y equals to x, the third root of x, and the rotation was clear for us. We're just taking this guy and start rotating this. So in shell method, when you're rotating about x-axis, it means that we need to write everything in terms of y, right? Okay, this guy is clear. x is equal to y, but this function, if you raise everything to the third power, x becomes y cubed. So x equals to y cubed. Our integral, b, is the definite integral of the circumference times the height of the cylinder, dy. So if you consider a typical cylinder, right, just a typical cylinder, here you have the base of the cylinder, and then suppose this guy is moving this way. So the base is located on y-axis, right? So r or the radius is y. So the circumference is 2 pi y. But what about the height itself? How do we calculate the height? The height, as you can see, from the maximum x to minimum x, it's bounded between y and y cubed. Perfect. So the volume is the definite integral of the circumference, which is 2 pi y times the height. And the height is y minus y cubed. And then dy. But what are the boundaries for our y, right? y ranges between 0 and remember that we found the intersection the intersection was x equals to 1 and when you plug that into either of these functions your y becomes 1 so your y is bounded between 0 and 1 so let us do the calculation and show that we get the exact same value 4 pi over 50. so the volume is 2 pi integral y squared minus y to the fourth 
divide between 0 to 1. So you have 2 pi y cubed divided by 3, y to the fifth divided by 5 as y ranges between 0 to 1. So the volume is 2 pi, just plug in 1, and then as you can see, it is 2 divided by 15 multiplied by 2 pi, which gives you 4 pi over 15. So it doesn't matter which method you're applying, shell method, washer method, you get the exact same volume.